This video is brought to you by Mubi, an online cinema at your fingertips streaming hand-selected films from around the globe. Start your one-month free trial right now by going to movie.com slash entertain the elk. As long as people have been making movies, the sports genre has been there too. It's played an important role in the history of film, offering insight into athletes and their respective worlds, while also serving as a mirror to our own world. But not all sports are alike, and not all sports movies are alike either. Each has its own unique history, cultural significance, and way of telling a narrative story. So in this new ongoing series, I'm going to examine how each sport has been utilized throughout film history, and how each sport lends itself to a narrative structure. Here are the reasons why the best sports movies are about baseball. The first baseball movie dates all the way back to 1898 with the film The Ball Game, a micro-documentary depicting a baseball game between the Reading Phillies and Newark Bears. The film was only 27 seconds long, but it left a lasting impression for audiences who were starved for baseball content. By 1856, journalists around the United States were already referring to baseball as the national pastime. But for a majority of the population, going to a baseball game or seeing a star player seemed like a dream. In order to feed that desire, many early baseball films starred famous baseball players, such as Right Off the Bat, starring Mike Donlan, Somewhere in Georgia, starring Ty Cobb, and Head and Home, starring Babe Ruth. Many of these early baseball movies were comedies, as physical comedy lended itself well to silent films. As the medium of film evolved throughout the years, baseball films evolved with them, moving from silent to talking pictures, and from black and white to color. Throughout the years, the sport of baseball has been able to tell certain stories from unique perspectives that other sports can't. Since baseball is a team sport, baseball movies are able to tell stories with large ensemble casts. Two of the most notable examples are Major League and A League of Their Own. Movies that don't focus on one or two players, but the entire roster gets moments to shine in their respective stories. There's no crying! There's no crying in baseball! This allows the audience to not just care about a single player, but the team as a whole. We're able to watch as selfish individuals are transformed into a cohesive team. But even though it's a team sport, baseball still allows for individual moments of greatness. One of the most cinematic moments in sports is the battle between the pitcher and batter. Will the pitcher get the strikeout, or will the batter get the hit? Even the other teammates become spectators for a few seconds. But that's not the only individual moment. It might be someone making the catch in a clutch moment, or a hitter making it to first base before they're thrown out. It's the uniqueness of baseball and its slow pace that allows for these moments to play out for dramatic effect. It's one of the few major sports played without a game clock. There's no kneeling out the clock like in football or dribbling out the clock like in basketball. In baseball, there's always a chance for an epic comeback. Another unique aspect about baseball is the sheer number of games played. Football plays 16 games in a single season, basketball and hockey play 82 games, but in a single baseball season, they play 162 games. And that doesn't even include playoffs. That's a lot of games, a lot of travel, and a lot of downtime. But baseball movies are able to take that downtime and use it to their advantage. They're able to build up relationships on long bus rides, in hotel rooms, or in the dugout. And they're also able to dive into the superstitions, traditions, and unspoken rules that have become so ingrained in the sport of baseball. They're sprinkled throughout a majority of baseball films, but I don't think any film has embraced this aspect better than Bull Durham. We need a live rooster to take the curse off Jose's glove, and nobody seems to know what to get Millie or Jimmy for their wedding present. Is that about right? That's right. We're yeah. dealing with a lot of shit. The conversations on the mound, how to break streaks and curses, which hand to use in a fight. Bull Durham perfectly understands the romance and insanity found in baseball. Unlike most sports where only the strongest and fastest survive, baseball has always lended itself to the average Joe. And that's part of the sport's lasting popularity. Now, there are certain skills required by the athletes, such as quick reflexes and hand-eye coordination, but in what other sports can beer-chugging, hot-dog-eating big men like Babe Ruth and CC Sabathia thrive? The simplicity of baseball is a reason why it's played and admired by children all over the world. And the film industry has always managed to tap into this large demographic. Baseball and boyhood came together in early silent films like Shut Out in the Ninth and Home Run Hawkins, and children have consistently been featured in baseball films ever since. The Kid from Left Field, Rugie's Bump, The Bad News Bears, and in the early 1990s, there was an explosion of baseball films starring children with Rookie of the Year, The Sandlot, Angels in the Outfield, and Little Big League all coming out in just a two-year span. As a child of the 90s, these were the first movies that introduced me to the game of baseball. 
Each generation has its own slew of baseball movies that they connected with at a young age, and these movies help instill a sense of magic early on that grows into joyful nostalgia over time. French-American historian Jacques Barzin wrote, Whoever wants to know the heart and mind of America had better learn baseball. And that's because baseball has become so ingrained and intertwined in American history. It's become a benchmark to mark historical events since the mid-1800s, and baseball movies have depicted many of these moments in time. Two world wars, the Great Depression, racial segregation and integration, not to mention all the films portraying real-life ballplayers and their individual moments of greatness. Baseball's history has intertwined itself with America's identity. But this overbearing, headstrong dedication to baseball's past is the very thing threatening its future. What used to be far and away the most popular sport in America is now a distant second to football, with basketball breathing down its neck. The length of the season and the pace of the game hasn't aged well with audiences who have shorter and shorter attention spans. Turn on a random baseball game and you'll see entire ballpark sections completely empty. In 2018, attendance dropped by 4%, falling below 70 million for the first time in 15 years. The average age of viewers is skewing older and older, while youth baseball participants is dropping from year to year. It's a sport that's at war with itself, the old school versus the new school. Old stats like earned run average and runs batted in are being replaced with newer sabermetrics terms like value over replacement player, wins above replacement, and ultimate zone rating. And 2011's film Moneyball perfectly depicts this shift in philosophy and the uphill battle it takes to rethink a game marred by old-fashioned traditions and gut instincts. This is the current landscape of baseball today. It's certainly not a dead sport by any means, but there are questions that still need to be answered in order to salvage America's pastime. Until then, baseball movies will remain stuck in the past, harking back to simpler times when baseball was still king. Since 2010, a vast majority of baseball films have been documentaries like Four Days in October, The House of Steinbrenner, Jordan Rides the Bus, Silly Little Game, Catching Hell, and The Battered Bastards of Baseball. And biopics like 42 and Spaceman. But the game of baseball and its corresponding films has always been connected to the past. We're constantly reminded of the crack of the bat, the smell of the grass, seventh inning stretches, the legends that have played the game, and the shared experiences with our friends and family that we'll never forget. Baseball films have always been able to pull our heartstrings by tapping into the ever-present romance and nostalgia found in the game, which is why the best sports movies are about baseball. I love diving into the history of film, finding classic titles that have helped shape the industry over time, but it's not always easy finding these renowned offbeat films, which is why I love movie. Mubi is an online cinema that streams hand-selected films from around the globe. These range from cult classics and award-winning documentaries to forgotten gems and new independent films. And instead of tirelessly searching through thousands of options, Mubi only carries 30 films at a time on a rotating schedule. Every day a new selection is added to the 30, and every day the oldest film is removed. Finally, a simple service for people who love cinema. Start your one-month free trial right now by going to Mubi.com slash EntertainTheOak. Thanks everyone for watching. As I said, this is a new ongoing series where I'll be examining different sports and how they've been portrayed throughout film history. So please leave me a comment below and tell me the sport that you'd like to see me examine next. Thanks again everyone and I'll see you all next time.